this life giving bread, this saving cup, we thank you for having us worthy to be in your presence and serve. Fail us to share in the body and blood of our Lord, our Savior Jesus Christ. Be brought together in unity by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church throughout the world. Make us grow in love together with Benedict, our Lord, Helen, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember all of our brothers and our sisters who have gone to their rest in the hope of rising from them. Bring them all to the heart of the life of your presence. Have mercy, Father, on us all. Thank us for you to share into the life of Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, with the apostles. With St. Joseph, the Egypt, St. Catherine of Dresden, St. Mark of the Glorious, St. Charles of the Martyr, St. Benedict of War, St. Felicity, St. Tropetra, St. Gelasius, St. Peter Claver, St. Ignatius of the Lord, and St. Patrick, and the Lord of Saints, and the Lord of the Lord of the May we praise you, Father, and may we grant you the glory to your Son, Jesus Christ. For it is through him and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, that all glory and God is for us all.
They loved, they struggled, and they built here. At this place, their love and labor rose like the sun and gave strength and meaning to the days. For them then, who gave us so much, we give in return. On this soil, we will sow our seeds and build and move in unity and in strength. Here, too, we continue their struggle for liberation and their struggle to reach a higher level of human life. May our eyes be the eagle, may our strength be like the elephant, and the boldness of our life be like a lion. And may we remember and honor our ancestors and the legacy they left us for as long as the sun shines and the waters flow. Amen. Amen. For Omoja, we all say Harambe seven times. You can rise your fist in unison with all of us. Harambe. 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 Seven times I call you. Seven times I call you to unity. I call for my mother. I call for my father. I call for my sisters. I call for my brothers. I call for grandfathers. I call for my grandmothers. I call for my family. Come to unity. Seven times I call you. Seven times I call you to unity. I call for Umoja. I call for Kuji Jataliya. I call for Ujima. I call for Ujama. I call for Nia. I call for Kumba. I call for especially Imani Faith. Seven times I call you, my people. Seven times I call you. Come to unity. Let's come to unity here. Let's come to unity in the community. Let's come to unity in the world. Let's come to unity in the prisons. Let's come to unity in the spirit of unity for the entire world, the African world, Africans in diaspora, but all people of goodwill, whether they be in Ireland or wherever they are, let's come to unity. Harambe! Harambe!
freedom means self-determination. We must define ourselves, name ourselves, create ourselves, and speak for ourselves. I light the Kuji Chocolate candle. Ujima means cooperative work and responsibility. As brothers and sisters working together, we must build and keep our community strong. I light the Ujima candle. Ujama means cooperative economics. We should build and maintain our own businesses and profit from them too. I like the Ujama candle. to do what we can to leave our community more beautiful and beneficial than we inherited it. <laughs> <laughs> I like the Kaumba candle. Okay. Third red. Third red. Yeah. Third red. Third red. Okay. Thank you. Oh, third red. I'm sorry. I'm dyslexic with colors. Imani means faith. To believe with all our heart in our people, our parents, our teachers, our leaders, and the righteousness and victory of our struggle. I like the Imani camp. Move a little bit this way. Move a little this way to the center. A little more. A little more. And let us sing. She said, right there. Two, three, and. He said, oh, the wild, call a barge.
the funds of celebration. The seven principles should not be thought of as exclusively for Kwanzaa. The Nguzaba is both a personal and collective value system that should be practiced throughout the year. The Nguzaba are the core values which undergird the philosophy that should be gu a guiding spirit for daily living. There should be a conscious commitment to the seven principles. We should internalize it. These values should be applied on a daily basis. Yozawadi this year is the opportunity to keep the Nguzaba alive, not only in your personal life, but also in your St. Patrick life. Each of the adults have a list of seven principles. There is room on the sheet of paper for you to select at least one of the principles and indicate ways that you will practice it or them if you choose more throughout the year. I invite those who wish to do so to share one way you intend to practice the Nguzaba in the coming year. We'll take about two or four minutes. Anybody who wish to share? Anyone else? Unity. Unity. Nia, purpose. Purpose. As we move into 2007, we should regularly ask ourselves, am I practicing unity, self-determination, collective work and responsibility, cooperative economics, purpose, creativity, and faith. We now read the farewell statement. Strive for discipline, dedication, and achievement in all you do. Dare to struggle and sacrifice and gain the strength that comes from this. Build where you are and dare leave a legacy that will last as long as the sun shines and the rivers flow. Practice daily Umoja, Kuji Chagulia, Ujima, Ujama, Nia, Kuumba, and Imani. And may the wisdom of the ancestors always walk with us. May the year's end meet us laughing and stronger. May our children honor us by following our example in love and in struggle. At the end of 2007, may we sit together in larger numbers with greater achievement and closer to liberation and a higher level of human life. I'll now turn the program over to Mary. Thank you all very much. We really tried hard to make it short and sweet. Hopefully it was meaningful and I hope you enjoyed it. But given the fact that this is New Year's Eve and you may not want to spend all of your time celebrating with us, we wanted to leave a little time so that, that you could celebrate somewhat with us. I'd like to thank, first of all, our elders, because your very presence is a blessing to us. Amen. And we want you to know that we honor and respect and revere you, not just this time of year, but every day. You bring something to us that calls us to practice the principle, and we appreciate you. I'd also like to thank all of the people who worked so hard to put this together. It's always 
the day before we come together, we put it together, and it worked. <laughs> but it's because of the dedication of the good people of St. Patrick that we're able to do this, and they need to be recognized. And I want, I want to start with Lumi and Denise, who always decorate the hall so beautifully, and Mary Loggins worked with them yesterday. I'd like to, I'd like to thank the parents of the children. <laughs> who got them here yesterday, who volunteered them in some instances to participate. But that's what it's all about. It, we are family. And I, I really appreciate the children who did step up. And next year, hopefully, more of you will come so that all of you will have some part to do in the, in the program. And it goes without saying that we couldn't have a Kwanzaa feast without Mary Washington and her gang, so to speak. So we really appreciate them. I appreciate all of you at St. Patrick's who come just to support us and to participate. Because again, we can't have a celebration if we can't be family. And this is testimony to the fact that St. Patrick is family. And, and last but certainly not least, I'd like to thank Father Greg for coming into St. Patrick, valuing us as we are, and allowing us to do it our way and become a part of it. And for that, I say thank you very much. Whoever's in charge of this, you know, they don't let me in the kitchen. No. <laughs> they, they know what I do, and it has nothing to do with the kitchen. <laughs> so while, they're, while they're getting ready, I'll, I'll just give you a little testimony to that. A couple of weeks ago, I decided I had my grandchildren over, and I decided I was going to fry some chicken. Now, I can't fry chicken. <laughs> but I thought, in my infinite wisdom, that this time I could get it right. Okay. I had the grease smoking, I had the, the chicken all dusted up, and I put it in there, and the grease started popping all over. I thought that's what it was supposed to do <laughs> until the fire started. Oh. <laughs> then I'm throwing soda all over my stove. And I said, okay, I got it this time. It's kind of sizzled down. I do it again. The fire starts again, and my granddaughter looks at me and she says, meaning, I don't think this is a very good idea. <laughs> That's the end of my chicken frying. And I have told all my friends, if you ever hear the word frying and anything coming out of my mouth, call the folks with the little white suits. Okay. <laughs> don't come, because you might get burned up in the fire. Call somebody to come and get me. <laughs> Can we have some of our older children to come and serve our elders? I know we can get some volunteers. Mimi, come on. Thank you, sweetie. A prayer of blessing on the food of the tree about to eat. Bless us, Lord, and these thy many gifts which we are about to receive from thy bounty, through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Excellent. Holders are served, and then you can come on up and get